Hello my friend, Evan Scoresby here with HowToWithEvan.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a business email address specifically using a service called one and one Ionis. Okay, and so one and one is a domain name register service kind of like GoDaddy or Namecheap and in a previous video called How to Choose a Domain Name and I'll have a link to that video here if you need to go check it out. Uh, but uh, I went through how to choose a domain name, the different things to consider when buying a domain name, and some of the benefits of getting your own custom domain name is to have a business email address to go along with it, right? So for example, my domain name, Evan, uh, howtowithevan.com, I have an email address set up for it called evan at howtowithevan.com. And so I recommended the best place to buy that domain name was from this company called One and One Ionis. And again, you can go and check out that video that goes through all the reasons why and uh, gives you the information on doing it. But I'll have also some links to that below the, in the description below here. But it's a great place to buy is this uh, One and One Ionis service because one of the reasons it comes with a free business email address. Okay. And so it doesn't cost any additional money to get this email address with this service. With other places, it does cost you more money. But this video is dedicated to show you how to create your business email address with this service. So let's get right into it and let's pull up uh, the internet. So once you pull up the internet, you want to go to Ionis's website and log into your account. So if you're watching this video, you most likely have an account with Ionis already and you just want to come up here to the top right corner and click on sign in and you'll want to put in your username and password that you used when you signed up. It could be your email address, it could be your customer ID number or your domain name itself. So whatever it is, put in your username and password and click on sign in. Okay, so when you sign in uh, depending on your account, it might look in different ways. For me, it comes directly to this page where it shows all of my access to the menu items. It might show something a little bit for you, but either way, to get to where we need to go, just come up here to the menu, okay, and then click on Domains and SSL. Okay, so click on Domains and SSL. And this is where your domain name will be listed that you purchased. For me, I have a lot of different domain names in here. Like I said, I keep all of my domain names in one place. And so I'm going to show you how to set up an email address for your domain name. So the one that I bought yesterday was for my wife. Okay, my wife's name is Crystal. And so I got crystalscoresby.com. So I'm going to set up an email address for this domain. So you find the domain name that you want, and you're going to click on it. And it will come up to this page for the domain details. And if you still need to create, look, it brings up this nice little uh, box here that says create an email address. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create email address. And it gives you these different options. You do get a free one, which is the mail basic. And that's the only one that you need to get set up for right now. If you actually wanted to pay for more, <laughs> you could. But I recommend just getting started with the basic, 2 gigabyte, and it should have a button that says Create. So all you do need to do is click on Create, and this is where you set up your email. So it recommends like doing like your first and last name, but you can put anything in here. So my wife just wants to use the word info. So her email address is just going to be info at crystalscoresby.com, okay? And then it will ask you to put in a password of your choice. Okay, so you can put in a password of your choice. I'm just going to use a suggested here one, a complicated password. You know, make it something that you'll remember, you know, uh, or write it down, whatever it is. So I'm going to put in the suggested password. And then that's all you need to do. You, you put in the password of your choice. Okay, uh, let me, I'm actually going to put in a different password because I'm not going to remember that and I'll change it later. So I'm going to put in a password that I use quite often for a lot of different things. But I'll end up changing it for her later. 
okay? So it tells me that it's weak, but that's okay. <laughs> you can still put in the password. And then all this other things down here, you don't need to do anything else. So if you wanted to pay extra for these features, you can, but I don't do that and I just leave those blank. So all you need to put in is the prefix for your email address, the password, and then click on save. So once you click on save, it might take a few seconds for it to process and for it to create the account. But once it does, it'll come to this confirmation page that says, all right, you can use your new email address. Okay, so use your new email address. And so um, down here, it has where you can use it. Okay, so if you want to just log in directly over the internet, this is the website that you go to log into your webmail. So you might want to write that down or bookmark it but mail.ionis.com, that's where you access your inbox, okay? And then also over here on the right, it has instructions on how to set up your email address on your smartphone or your you know, Mac or PC. And so I might save that for another video on how to do that, but that'll give you instructions on, on how to set that up on your smartphone. But if I wanted to go log in right now, I can just click on this link or go to the login page. Okay, so I'll click that link. It'll open up a new window where I can actually log in to my email account. Okay, so you're gonna put in your new email address that you just created. So I'm gonna put in for me, info at crystalscoresby.com. And then I'm gonna put in the password that I set up. And then I'm just gonna click on log in. If your browser asks you to save the information, you can if you want to, which I'll probably save that. Okay, and then once you log in for the first time, it's gonna ask you to put in your contact data. So put in your first name and have the first letter capitalized, make it professional, same with your last name. And then it will automatically put in your name here for the mandatory fields and then click on save. After you click on save, it does give you a tutorial uh, where you can start a tour and just get to know your account. I'm not gonna do that right now. But once you uh, do this, you know, once you access your account, it's basically set up like any other inbox. It has all of your folders over here on the left-hand side. So it has your inbox, your drafts, your sent, spam, fam, uh, and your trash, and you can add other folders if you want to. But I'm selected on the inbox and then what's ever in the inbox it will show the messages right here. So it does show one message here just from Ionis customer service welcome me to the mailbox. So if I click on that it will display the message over here to the right. Okay and so that's it. That's how you create your business email address using one and one Ionis and so I have links in the description below that will take you to these websites to create your account and to sign in to your account. And also, if you need to check out that other video on uh, how to choose a domain name, and we show you how to buy it as well. And so if you need to get that, we'll have those links below too. And also, check out my free book. It's called The Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Affiliate Marketing. And these are some of the steps that I go through in this book that gives you a step-by-step -step approach and guide to getting you started with building your own online business using affiliate marketing, which is the best way to build a business online, in my opinion, because with affiliate marketing, you don't have any inventory or customer service or headaches like that. You're just referring other people to existing products and services out there on the internet and by doing so you earn commissions it's a pretty sweet deal it's great for beginners too so check out my free book go ahead and get that and if you like this video and found it valuable give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and we'll call it good for today thanks everybody hope you have a great day and never ever give up on your dreams bye for now